share the screen and there we are. All right, everyone. Thanks for joining us today. Today is October 1st and today's topic is using print marketing to build your business. Yes, there's still print marketing. <laughs> yes. Everything's not always digital. And we want to give Debbie and I want to give you some ideas on how to use print marketing to build your business. And we'll jump right into us. And the good pictures we got today. I like it. Post oh, yeah. Thanks. <laughs> I, I, I like, I'm going to do this more personal. So you'll see I in like a second, it. everybody. But right. Yep. That's, that's good <laughs> stuff. Well, to start. All right. Jump into it, Deb. So, why do you want to use print marketing? You know, social media is out there and everybody wants to use that. And I get that. But you got to remember one thing with social media is when people have a lot of contacts on there, sometimes content gets lost, right? Because your feed goes so fast that if it's way down in there and you don't scroll down in there, you never saw it. So Yes, social media is good. Yes, we do promote that. But you want to make sure that you're building your credibility and your trust by sending people things that they want to see. And also, the extended shelf life is should be in quotations. I should have done that in quotations because when you have a piece of marketing material that is piques somebody's interest, they're going to keep it. You know, we all have that fun junk drawer somewhere in our house right mm -hmm. and you're gonna throw stuff in there but that door gets opened every once in a while and people can see stuff and I'm gonna show you some really good examples of what you can send out to people that they will keep at least for a little while right because you want them to hang on to it so that they're either showing it to others or that they're looking at it time and again. These things right here, the first time home buyer, the home purchase tips and all that stuff is all great information that you can throw in there as well. But if they're not doing anything at that point in time, it's probably going to go where? In the garbage. So exactly. let's try and get them things that they're actually going to keep. Right, exactly. All right, next. So this is the category of effective print marketing. There is so much stuff, you guys, on Moxie. Uh, and there's also so much stuff on Express Docs. So I blew this one up, the Cleveland football schedule, so that you can see what it actually looks like when you send it out to somebody. How cool is this? It's got your info right on the bottom, right? They're going to keep it at least until January 5th when the season is over, right? <laughs> right. Sometimes exactly. they're going to keep it longer than that. You right. can you can hand these out to people because you can buy a box and have them sent to you. You can put the little magnetic strip on the back. They have that option as well so that they can hang it on their refrigerator. You can put it into, uh, so you could mail it, or you can put it into um, like a, a little goodie bag uh, when you're door knocking and you're doing your pop buys and stuff over on the other side, we have the Halloween, we have invitations, we have lunar new year, we have miscellaneous holidays, we have newsletters. That's just a touch. There is so much stuff on express docs. You, you'd be amazed. There's every kind of calendar. They must have 10 different kinds of calendars that you can use. These also people are going to keep, right? And again, you can put the magnetic strip on the back if you want to. Um, so that they can hang it on their refrigerator or you can have it just as the postcard type thing. If you want to get the box and you want to laminate them so that they're even tougher, you can do that too. Laminate, you can buy in the store now and you can laminate things yourself if you want to. But the, ob so the object of this is to get your name out there and have them in front of people for a little bit of a period of time so that you're pushing your name and your brand into their brain. Right. Yeah, sometimes, yeah, sometimes I, when I talk to agents about this, they go, ah, I hate spending the money. People just throw those out. I'm like, why aren't you asking them? Yeah. Nowadays, call them, text them, say, hey, by the way, I'm putting in an order for my calendars. Uh, I, would you like a brown schedule? You like a guardian schedule? You like a calendar? What would you like? I just want what, you know, what would you like this year or before you have to place the order? 
and get get their response. Oh, I like those. Oh, I don't like those. I or I don't have a fridge that you know the magnet goes on, but just send me a calendar or whatever. And also, what happens is in that part, imagine you're actually say money wise, say yeah, just saying you got a hundred people that you were mailing these to, but you got down to fifty that actually replied to you and said yes, they want it. Now take that fifty that you didn't order and put that into something else you could give them, like a pen or pencils or something with your name on it, and then put that in. And then you know these are people that hold on to things, and you know they're not they're actually responded to you. Yes, I would like one, and give them something else on top of that, and and take away. So, but don't take those other people off the list because they were past clients or referrals. They're still on the list to ask. So you don't you do so if you have a hundred people, the next time there's a calendar coming up or whatever, hey, just want to say you didn't reply last time, but just want you're still on my list. Do you still want to be on my list? Of uh, I might because some people might after a year or two, okay, okay, yeah, this is year, you know, the guardians are doing well this year. So maybe next year more people will want their calendar. Yes, <laughs> so, absolutely. You could ask to see if you're sending them something and you get at least value of asking uh people and they see your name and and uh hey, do you want to put your calendar? So anything kind of things like this you can continually ask your database and reach out to them and if you don't know their name or you know doesn't be a personal friend or relative and don't have their phone number or barely have their address i unless you have a lot of money to just invest and throw out there like a shotgun approach you shouldn't be sending them anything anyways <laughs> so, right if that makes sense so yeah um, next slide or yep next go. slide go so this other part is how do you do it? So the, here's another example of some things that you can buy and send out frequently. So if you have people that you want to hit frequently, you can set them up on the recipe card rotation, right? Mm -hmm. Every quarter you send them a new recipe card. So you're basically building them a box of recipes with your name and your brand on it. Uh, there's so many different choices for the recipe cards there. Um, if you don't have a, a lot of a budget, that's why I say do it quarterly, right? You know, right. if you have a larger budget and you want to do it more frequently, you can. But you can buy a box of these. The minimum is 25. You just buy the box. You have it sitting there. And then when you think of someone that you want to go or maybe you're walking the dog, you put together some pop by uh, full, um, little plastic things that you can buy the door hangers off of Amazon. You can buy a thousand of them for, I think under $30 and you put the card inside of there and you put like a pen and your, and your business card and stuff. And some people even put one of the ingredients in there, tell them, have a call thing on there. Let me know how you like this recipe. How did you jazz it up? I love to change recipes with people. Give them a call to action. And if they're not home, hang it on their door. Don't put it on the mailbox because, you know, we're not allowed to do that. But you can hang it on their door. It's nice, high-quality printing. And if you want to um, have them printed yourself, you can do that as well. It's personal. And it's giving them something for value so value exchange marketing. Another way of value exchange marketing is if you do something like um, um, uh, oh, uh, like a contest. Oh, you know, yeah. if you if you have a contest um, and you have people sign up for this, that, or the other, and give them uh, like an option to answer the questions, and then you get put into the contest, and then you send them a gift card. Uh, whatever the contest is, you can make the gift card relevant to it, or maybe it's just a $25 gift card of some sort, but you're getting their name and their phone number and their email address and their mailing address so that you can send them the card. That's another way to do it so that you're changing, exchanging information. Um, and you have to have patience because you got to do this more than once. You can't right. just send it out one time and say, well, that didn't work. I'm not going to do that again. You've got to hit people more than one time over and over and over again, as much as your budget will allow. Right. Say like you did this, uh, you know, uh, three times 
uh, or let's say four times a year. You send two at the beginning of the year, two at the end of the year, or in a, whatever rotation the system is sending it out and check in with people to see if they use the recipes, if they like the recipes, they still want to be on the list. Do they want, you know, things like that. It's a, re a reason to check in. Hey, did you get, and do you like, and do you want me to continue? It's the whole point of, it's a talking point. That's what it, it is. Cause sometimes there's our people, um, example, like there, there, there's people out there like, oh, these, you know, people are just sending recipe cards. And uh, you know, what does that look like as a realtor? Is that professional or not? If you just send recipe cards and you never follow up with them, I mean, unless you want to just spend money that it increases the, the chances of br bringing that bringing business, the more you call, text, email these people on top of that. If you just send them out to hundreds of people and never make a call and everything it just the, the percentage of turnovers is so low it's almost you know unless you have the money to spend i wouldn't even do it this is a point this is just a a way another way to connect with the phone calls the text messages the and the other things that you're going to be doing so Absolutely. You have to follow up. You can keep track of it on like a marketing spreadsheet. You know, how many times have you called them? Uh, okay, so I, I called them one time or two times and now I'm going to send them an email and then I'm going to send them something in the mail and then I'm going to call them again so that I can make sure that I'm keeping track of them and I'm calling and use your spreadsheets and stuff like that. Use your Moxie Engage, put your notes in there. You know, if you want to do that, there's so many different ways. And I know I pushed Express Docs on you because that's where those fun things are. You can make your own. You can use Canva. You can use PowerPoint or Microsoft Publisher. You can get images from Adobe Stock. They have free images. You can get images from Unsplash Online. So different places like that. You can use the brand studio. They have a ton of different images too. So there's all kinds of different ways to reach out to people um, and follow up with them, like he said. So maybe you send them an email with some information about buyers, or maybe you send them an email with some information about sellers, or maybe it's just about credit repair. It's still about real estate but you're also sending them fun stuff. So like Tony said, don't just send the card out and not do anything with it. Cause they're not going to, they're, it's not going to mean anything to anybody. You got to make it so that it means to them. And that's how you build your business and especially hit people that you have done business with before, because they're going to appreciate the fact that you're still remembering them. And it's pumpkin spice season. It is. I thought this was the <laughs> cutest pumpkin spice and real estate advice. I thought that was so cute. Um, and everybody loves pumpkin spice. So there's your little tag. You can get that off of Etsy. Uh, that Etsy girl has a ton of different tags that I follow. And you can follow the same people that I do on social media. On Facebook, there is a pop by and uh group that I follow all the time and they always have a lot of good ideas and stuff, you know, so make your own. This is your business. You have to promote it however you can. So here's right. our classes that are coming up. Um, this Thursday, we have the spooky mortgage issues at eight o'clock in the morning. Then we have DocuSign at the end of the month with Mike Ferrante. Hush is going to do another buyer class on November 7th. Um, it's all about the net. This is a good class for anybody who doesn't know how this is going to affect buyers and their loans. He's going to go into a lot of detail about what you can say and what you can't say when you're doing your buyer agreement and when you're making your purchase agreement uh, and with your closing costs and stuff like that. So it's really important for everybody, I feel, to go to what that class, if you haven't hit it earlier this year, he's had it, he's done it a couple times, but this will be probably the last one for this year on that actual topic, but it's a great topic. And then you have Core Law, November 16th, and then we're into December with um, some secrets of working with buyers. I don't have Hesh's December class yet. As yeah, I think, I actually, it, I think yeah, know. I think Hesh's one um, is December third, fifth. Yeah, it's going to be, and it's, it's after, probably the third because it's you. Oh wait, December fifth is the first Thursday. Is it, yeah. okay? Yeah, 
and it should be ethics, I believe. So. Oh, he's doing ethics. All right, yep. there you go. So we'll put that on for the next next week, but we got plenty of time. Well, I don't know. We're it's going fast. It's so. going fast. It'll yeah. be December already, so fall is here. So well, good. Well, thanks for joining us today, everyone. Remember, reach out to us if you want to go over this and uh, uh, get on our calendar. We're happy to discuss any of these topics. But again, thanks for watching. Bye bye, everybody. Have a good day. Bye bye.